Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP 15 notebook laptop. The exact model for this one is an HP 15-F039WM. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop. And in this video I'm going to go over how easily you can replace your keyboard for this one. If you drop some water or some keys are not working, you can replace it really easy. You can get different style keyboards for different languages if you want and it is installable in this one all right and it's really simple you don't have to change any configuration on the system i'm going to go over the tools that i'll be using and we're going to start the process the only tool that i'd like to use is the ifx screwdriver set if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if not grab this basic screwdriver set with a phillips number one Again, if you get the opening tool process, they will give you opening tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this two on hand, first we're going to power off the laptop. We're going to flip it upside down. We're going to remove the single screw that has a keyboard picture right on it. So remove this single screw. You don't need to remove the battery at all. It's not necessary. So once you did that, now you're going to grab opening tool and you want to start from the middle. You want to slide it right there. And you, there's a tiny, if you look, there's tiny little gaps in there. You want to stick it there and you just want to wiggle it around. You're wiggling around down there. You want to stick it all the as far as you can and just want to wiggle it and you want to hear some click. You want to do this all around on the top part. Once you did that, now you're in the middle. You want to lift it up enough to put your finger just like that. And then you want to lift it up, just gently pull it up and then push it towards the screen so you can release the bottom clips. Once you got it there, now you want to flip it face down. And there we have the flex cable. All right, to remove the flex cable, you can use your finger, put it on the back side here on this plastic cover right here. And then you just want to lift it up 90 degrees like that. This thing has to be loose 90 degrees upward. And then you just want to slide this flex cable backward. Remember the plastic part has to face the board and the pins exposed facing upward. And that's how you remove the keyboard. Okay. Now let's say that you got the new keyboard in. And this one actually I'm looking, there's a screw hole here and there's a screw hole here. The second screw hole actually is not doing anything. It just sits over here. I'm guessing it's like for different model. Let's say that you got the the model for this one is a 77-6778-001. Yours might be different depending what uh, keyboard, what language you have. Again, I'll try to get a link for one of them and then I'll leave it in the video description. You want to put the keyboard like just like this. You want to bring the flex cable straight. Don't make sure you don't damage the flex cable. And uh, you want to make sure the lock is open facing up. And then you just want to slide it all the way inside the connector. Okay. Once it's all the way in, you just want to lock it down, make sure the lock is flat, and that should be all. Now all you need to do is put the front end of the keyboard down, hold it from the middle, don't let go. Now you want to give this curve here, so you just pretty much curving down this way. You squeeze the corners, once you squeeze that one in, you squeeze this other side, make sure it makes a nice click and let go. And then push the top row and make sure you hit those tiny clicks on the top row. Press the side and that's it. And the last thing would be to just screw the bottom screw right on it to hold it in place. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.